MP Spangerman. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Minister, great to have you back along with your senior leadership team. And uh, as the Chair said, members of this committee had a chance to travel to Mali just a few weeks ago. I'd like to echo the Chair's comments on the quality of support that we received. Um, we had a chance to speak with the women and men who were deployed in Operation Presence Task Force Mali and had a first-hand impression of the excellence and the strength of the team that's currently being deployed. Uh, there was an overwhelming message that uh, Canada is back supporting peace operations and more importantly that our contributions matter deeply. And I'd like to thank you for your leadership and the leadership of your team in taking us back. Um, Minister, as somebody who's served in a, in a UN mission in a conflict zone, I know that the, the mere presence of an advanced uh, air medevac and Kazivac capability itself uh, gives tremendous comfort and confidence to the women and men serving under the blue flag, uh, knowing that someone has your back uh, when you're in harm's way. It really, really matters. And I'm wondering if uh, I could take you through your own personal impressions uh, when you were on the ground in December and your conversations with the women and men who serve. Uh, what did you learn and what conclusions did you reach about the, the kind of activity you were involved in when contributing to MINUSMA? Oh, no, thank you very much for the, the, the question. And as you learn about the challenges of a nation and as we were um, look at creating our plans and how we can help the United Nations with its reforms, um, you create the policy, you figure out what the plan is, and then you rely on your Canadian Armed Forces members to turn it into action. And when I visited for the first time, and I think just like yourselves, um, having been part of the briefings of what the, what the plan was and what they were going to do, it actually exceeded my expectations. Uh, the ingenuity that they brought to the table, which is uh, uh, took into consideration their, their experience uh, in Afghanistan, completely enhanced it, took the experience of the Germans and the Dutch as well. Um, the, the Chinook helicopters uh, has given the ability to not only go further, the only security that they bring on um, uh, with them, but because on the ground, when there's a challenge, um, you, you can't just rely on security to making sure that we are looked after. But the additional training that they on themselves took upon to making sure that the security folks, the people pro providing security that have additional medical training, has actually helped to enhance the ability. And probably the biggest thing that, I that what I took away was, in terms of the confidence that it brings, it has allowed the ground forces for them to actually patrol further. So they're actually able to reach areas that they couldn't reach before. And that was probably the biggest takeaway that, that I got out of that was that they're, they actually are in, they enhance the current mission on the ground just by their presence. Minister, thank you for that.